A defenseless child targeted by attackers in Sunday's outbreak of religious and ethnic violence in Jos, Nigeria. I was carrying two of my babies on my back. As I ran out of my house, one of the men beat me down and my son fell off and he started screaming that they had cut his hand. Then the shocking realization that she knew her attacker. He was a lodger in my house. He knew me by name. He called me by name. So when they went to burn my house, he told them no. It's a similar story from this victim who survived the slash of a machete. I know him. His name is Gambo. Shundia, another victim, thinks this is a nightmare from which she will soon awake. My child was removed from my back and killed instantly. My other child started running. They caught him and killed him. More than 48 hours after the killing spree ended, dead bodies are still being delivered to this hospital. The police have just brought this one here. Survivors, the people of Jos, the people of Nigeria, if not the world, are asking why. Why did a group of Muslim pastoralists turn on their neighbors so brutally, so mercilessly? On the face of it, this violence may look like Christians and Muslims in Jos just can't live together in peace, as millions do in other parts of Nigeria. But at the heart of the matter is a fierce battle for control of land, the local economy, and the tens of millions of dollars that flow into local government coffers from Nigeria's vast oil revenues every month. Disputes over all these issues take a religious dimension. Poverty and unemployment fuel anger and resentment. And some politicians exploit religious differences to instill fear that one religious group might come to dominate even rule over the other. Instead of taking responsibility, the local state government is shifting the blame for the attack to the national government that control Nigeria's army and police. But do you blame the security services? Why not? Why not? They were alerted that there are plans to attack the state. In response, Nigeria's acting president, Goodluck Jonathan, has thrown out the country's national security advisor. But tension and fear is still gripping Jos. There are dozens of armored personnel carriers like this one in strategic locations throughout Jos. The Nigerian army are also carrying out foot patrols to get into those tightly built up urban areas. But the worry is what's happening in the rural areas. It's thought security there is much thinner. As victims heal, Nigeria's leaders are searching for a long-term solution to avert another man-made disaster like this. Ivondege, Al Jazeera, Jos, Plateau State in Nigeria.